Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about gastrulation in cheek. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So basically, chicken egg is telolacetal. That means the yolk is concentrated in the vegetal pole. So here it is the egg. This is the vegetal pole, and this is the animal pole. And you can see that the yolk is concentrated at the vegetal pole. Okay. Now, a small cytoplasmic disc with a nucleus is placed on the top of the yolk. Here. This is called blasto disc. And cleavage starts at blasto disc. So, after cleavage, the blasto disc becomes cellular and that is called the blastoderm. So, you can zoom this part and you can see that the cleavage is occurring at the blasto disc. A number of cells are prepared and this is the yolk obviously. Uh, and at this stage, we can call this embryo blastoderm. Now, the cavity between the cells and the yolk is called subgerminal cavity. This one is the subgerminal cavity placed between the yolk and the cells. And this subgerminal cavity is filled with fluid. Okay. Some of the cell layers from the center of blastoderm are shed and die so that only a single layer of cells in this area remains. So here we have single layer of cells. It makes the area translucent. Thus, the central area is known as area pellucida. Actually, pellucida means transparent. And the marginal cells, you can see these are the marginal cells. They remain overlapping the yolk and appear opaque and darker. This area is termed area opaca. Actually, opaca means opaque. The cells in the area opaca possess the yolk but do not contribute in embryo formation. And the embryo is now called blastula. Okay. Most of the cells of the area pellucida remains at the surface and forming an upper layer that is called epiblast. And the anterior half of epiblast will form future ectoderm. Some cells delaminate from epiblast and ingress into the subgerminal cavity forming the hypoblast. Uh, actually delamination means formation of a separate layer of cells just like this. So now hypoblast is formed. Okay. A small thickening of the epiblast called Kohler's sickle is formed at edge of the area pellucida. The hypoblast and epiblast are joined together at the margin of area opaca and the space between them is called blastocene. This hypoblast forms the yolk sac and the epiblast forms the three germ layers of embryo, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm as well as the extra embryonic membrane that is amnion, chorion and allantois. Now the primitive streak arises from the collar sickle and epiblast cells. At the anterior end of the primitive streak is a regional thickening of cells. It is called Henson's node. The center of the Henson's node contains a funnel shaped depression through which cells can enter embryo. Some cells 
pass from the epiblast into the blastocil below through the primitive streak. The four cells enter blastocil will form the endoderm. Next, the cells migrate into the blastocil will form the mesoderm. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.